Jennifer Peterson, Salem District. A book was removed by Cortland High School within an hour of submitting the challenge. A very overused justification to retain inappropriately or inappropriate sexually explicit books is worse as found on the internet. This straw man argument doesn't negate sexually explicit inappropriate books, but yes, I'll agree. Worse is found on the internet. Only this time it was a library book in Cortland High School which contained QR codes that exposed students to the worst. Some QR codes led to age-restricted 18 plus sites, websites without age verification to purchase pornography, websites and tags to erotica adult fiction containing 85,000 stories by 26,000 authors, discussion boards on fetishes, BDSM, adult toys, porn, sexual activities, and in one comment the age of consent being 12. Other QR codes discussed in detail adult toys, made comparison between adult toys, where to purchase adult toys, and how to use everyday objects as adult toys. The book itself discusses BDSM, adult toys, sexual tips, and recommends a reader to work in a sex store at 18. Given the third party age restrictions on, on their content and the internet takes the readers beyond the covers of the books, that seems to satisfy the interstate commerce part. These two elements combined seem to violate 18 United States Code 1470, a federal law which violation includes fines and up to 10 years in federal prison. The book was published in 2019, but much of what is objectionable um, on the internet predates the book. Another more tech savvy parent is documenting what is found and we are currently working with federal law enforcement and former FBI to ensure everything is turned over to the proper authorities. Island of, Trees v, uh, Island of Trees Board of Education, VPCO, was brought up tonight, but the one thing that everyone keeps forgetting to mention is it does permit the removal of sexually explicit books. Interesting how that part is never mentioned. Facts are stubborn things. In the absence of any library policy I can find, it would appear through interlibrary loan all 24,000 SCPS students to include elementary and middle school students can have access to all books, regardless of the building's location of any particular book. So stating that many of the challenge books are located in high school doesn't seem to preclude lower grades from access to those books. We're beyond where a full library audit is justified. I've tracked over 40 books removed without audit, which appears on my list that SCPS was not provided. So I have to question the motivation to remove books without challenge, but fight for the same types of books retention. Thank you.